So today we're gonna do a little instruction on something that I don't know why I assumed I would never do this, but it's a good idea. And that is how to build a fire. Everything that you need to know about fire can be summed up in two words, heat rises. The best way to build any fire, but especially the best way to build a fire in a cowboy cauldron is like this. Take one log, lay it on its side. Then your tinder, which is really fluffy, fast burning stuff. And put it underneath the log. The next step is kindling. And kindling basically is little sticks, small burnable pieces of stuff that can take the heat from the tinder and begin burning right away, but burn long enough to generate enough heat to light on main fuel. Now we're gonna do something we don't do often at Cowboy Cauldron Company, and that is just a bold-faced product plug. And uh, here goes. Sometimes it's really hard to build a fire. It might be raining, it might have been snowing, it might be cold, or you may just not want to work that hard at starting a fire. And so we now make Cowboy Cauldron Fire Starter, and it's awesome. So our fire starter is made from all natural ingredients. It's essentially smoke-free, smells great when it burns, and it makes starting a fire a breeze. So each puck can be broken into pieces, something about the size of a ping pong ball typically is more than plenty. If you wanna go a little bigger, that's fine. If you wanna make sure you've got a fire, go half. And uh, if you're in dire straits, burn the whole damn thing. And I guarantee you, the fire's gonna start. So whether you're using dry grass or leaves, God forbid paper, a, a nice fire starter like ours, uh, or anything else, one thing to keep in mind, and that is, if it goes in an engine, you shouldn't be starting a fire that way. That's a good way to blow up your face. That said, we're gonna light the fire. And it's gonna get smoky because in the initial stages, the combustion is gonna be incomplete. But as the heat increases and the combustion becomes more efficient, the smoke will very rapidly dissipate and a bright, cheery fire will take its place. All right, so as you can see, the fire's taken, the smoke is gone, we've got a cheery blaze, and now we can really start building a fire that's gonna last. 